Spirit of Systems is the brainchild of Zane Vogel and Adam Holrod, who developed the idea of making gear for soldiers by soldiers while deployed to the Hindu Kush mountains of Afghanistan. In their own words, it was an idea that we could do this better, that we could care about it more, that we could do it with integrity. Eventually, this led to the development of what is now known as the LV-119 play carrier system. The LV-119 is one of the most popular play carriers on the market today, and for good reason. It's also one of the most frequently requested play carriers when it comes to integration of our Ice Age ecosystem. So the big question we want to answer today is, what makes the LV-119 so popular? Stay tuned to this episode of Core Performance Insights to find out. Oh, and a quick note about format. This is not a typical review video that you're going to find on YouTube. We put a lot of details in the show notes below. Check those out. But in the meantime, let's get back to the video. Ice Age ecosystem integration is the first category we are going to cover since thermal regulation is the next night vision, and Ice Age ecosystem integration is the genesis of this video series. The LV-119 is a perfect host for our Ice Fence Aero minimalist plate carrier shoulder pads. The Ice Fence Classic heavy loadout plate carrier shoulder pads could also be used if you're running a heavier load, but they may be too wide for most users when paired with the LV-119. For hydration, the IMS combo can ride on the back of the rear overt plate bag just fine using the Molly Rose provided. As for conductive thermoregulation, the LV-119 does not offer a way to run IMS Pro inside the carrier without modification. However, you can run our ice plate inside the rear plate bag and run your ballistic plate on the outside in our IMS as long as you are using a medium eSAPI plate. For convective thermoregulation, the LV-119 currently does not have a way to run our Ice Fence Classic ventilation pontoons. However, we have a solution still in development called Catamaran to address this issue. While not as smooth as an organic integration like Ice Plate Exo, Catamaran will allow all LV-119 users to run Ice Fence under their plate bags easily. Setup takes just a couple of minutes and only has to be done once. Much like temperature, weight impacts human performance in a persistent and significant way. The pair of LV-119 overt plate bags comes in at 17.75 ounces. The Molly Velcro Cummerbund weighs 5.25 ounces, and together they clock in at 23 ounces. If you add the placard 5.56, a 3.65 ounce gain, you get a 26.65 ounce setup. In the show notes below, you'll find a link to our plate carrier weight calculator, which can be found in the insights section of our website. It contains weight data for all of the carriers in this plate carrier overview series, along with weight data on armor plates, pouches, and more. Wet weight is easily the most underappreciated technical consideration when it comes to modern plate carrier selection. Whether sweat or salt water, moisture retention has a massive negative impact on human performance from the added weight and hygiene risk. Yeah, we're looking at you, wet boot socks. In our testing, the wet weight of the LV-119 came out to 32.4 ounces. This is a 30% weight gain. It's not the worst we've seen, but it's not the best either. It is worth noting that Spirit of Systems makes an OTB version of the LV-119 to address this issue, which likely outperforms the LV-119 overt when it comes to wet weight. Like most modern plate carriers and armor systems, the LV-119 does not have any natively integrated thermoregulation or hydration systems in the design. The LV-119 is a minimalist style carrier. There is no extra padding, no spacer mesh, no interior Velcro, no built-in hydration features. Thermal transmittance is the transfer of heat through matter. In our case, that matter is the body-facing section of a plate bag. Since kit is already insulating by nature, you want to find gear, especially plate carriers and body armor, 
that have the highest possible thermal transmittance. In other words, you want to find plate carriers and body armor that have the minimum amount of insulation. Our baseline reading for the LV-119 in a temperature-controlled office with a ballistic plate installed was 76 degrees Fahrenheit. After inserting an ice plate, the temperature was 58 degrees Fahrenheit. This is an 18 degree temperature shift. So what do these numbers mean? Well, the smaller the spread between the baseline surface temperature and the ice plate inside surface temperature, the lower the thermal transmittance of that plate bag. The smaller the thermal transmittance number, the worse the carrier is at expelling heat from the interface between your body and the plate carrier. The larger the thermal transmittance number, the more efficient the plate carrier is at expelling heat from your body carrier interface. In other words, smaller numbers mean you run hotter, bigger numbers mean you run cooler. Small numbers bad, big numbers good. The Spiritus Systems LV-119 is built from materials regularly used in basic plate carriers today. Nylon, Velcro, plastic, Tigris in the Cumberbund, Tweave, Shot Cord, and YKK zippers. When it comes to unique features, the LV-119 is a completely customizable carrier. The LV-119 comes in three styles, overt, covert, and OTB, or over the beach. All of these styles can be mixed and matched with the others for a completely a la carte experience, depending on your mission, scale up or down to match. The LV-119 also offers easy cable management for combo systems with openings at the shoulders and bottom of the plate bags. The Spiritus Systems LV-119 uses industry standard attachment mechanisms, Molly, which is limited, Velcro, and zip-on panel, which it's worth noting is a YKK zipper. We're pretty sure it's a number 8 YKK Vizlon with an 8.875 inch length, but the key takeaway here is that it is a YKK and that it is different from everything else in the market, so you can only use Spiritus Systems back panels. The LV-119 also has swift clip or G-hook compatibility for placards on the front plate bag. When it comes to sizes, the LV-119 plate bags come in medium, large, and extra large. The LV-119 Cumberbund comes in two sizes. Size 1, yes, that's what they call it, 28 inches to 42 inches, and size 2, which is 40 inches to 54 inches. Both the plate bags and the Cumberbund are offered in Multicam, Multicam Black, Multicam Arid, Multicam Tropic, Woodland, Ranger Green, Wolf Gray, Black, and Coyote. The shoulders have ample sizing adjustment for in-between sizes. The Cumberbund runs small, but has multiple mounting points in the rear plate bag that can be overlapped or worn wider in the front. Shock cord mounting is used in the rear plate bag, and Velcro is used in the front. The LV-119 accepts sappy or e-sappy plates in accordance with the size of the carrier, i.e. a large carrier fits large plates. We have exact sizing listed in the chart on screen. The country of origin, commonly abbreviated as COO, is an incredibly important consideration when it comes to plate carrier selection. COO is a dependable but not absolute indicator of innovation, quality, and craftsmanship. We reached out to Spiritus Systems to ask where their LV-119 plate carriers are made, and they had this to say, quote, Spiritus Systems proudly is a Berry Amendment compliant company, so all LV-119s and everything else manufactured by Spiritus is made in the United States, North Carolina, from U.S. materials by U.S. citizens, end quote. We reached out via email on Tuesday, November 8th, 2022 at 2.37 p.m. and received our reply Tuesday, November 8th, 2022 at 4.38 p.m. Spiritus Systems is incredibly responsive. Spiritus Systems sells the LV-119 overt plate bags for $109.95 to $119.95 per plate bag. The Molly Velcro Cumberbund will run you $63.95 to $70.95. The placard 5.56 is $59.95, and for the complete package in medium, it will run you $343.80. All prices vary based on size, and here is how that compares to other carriers on the market today. So that's a wrap on our technical plate carrier overview of the Spiritus Systems LV-119. We hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. But we'd love to know, if you own an LV-119, what do you like or dislike about it? If you were in the market for an LV-119, what other plate carriers are you considering? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to keep up with the latest in all aspect thermal regulation. Follow us on Instagram via at Core Performance. I'm your host, Justin Lee, and until next time, stay frosty.